Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I do have a ton of pictures at the end, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I do have a few new finds, not a whole lot. I mainly got a lot of stuff to complete some of my projects that I have coming up on my channel. So the first item that I got is this, uh, what is this? Simply Asia Japanese style udon noodles. It says for authentic udon, add chicken, vegetables, and stock. No MSG. And this is 14 ounces. So I believe they have this Simply Asia brand like in Walmart, Food Line, a lot of the big box stores. So seeing it at Dollar Tree, I think it's a pretty good deal because that stuff is usually kind of pricey. New this week, I did come across the Honey Bunches of Oats cereal. Now this is only a 4.3 ounce box, so it's very small, but this is still a good brand. It's a post brand cereal, a very good deal to find that at the Dollar Tree. This is good if you want to maybe take it to work if you have a locker at work and that way you don't have to carry a big giant box of cereal just enough for about two or three bowls and I think it's perfect so I did pick up one of these and I do have another flavor and I have it in the pictures at the end I've seen people haul this in previous years and I've never picked it up personally but I wanted to give it a try this is the cafe al fresco hazelnut syrup it says add a splash to desserts tea espresso coffee soft drinks and smoothies I don't know about adding it to soft drinks and stuff like that but it's pretty much just the syrup, like if you were to go to Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks, whatever, the syrup that they add, if you get like a, um, what I like to get is hazelnut. This is hazelnut flavoring. I get like a, a large iced hazelnut coffee from Dunkin'. So this will save me some money. And the good thing about this is, is that it's sugar free. And this is good until, uh, what is that, May of 2020. And this is 12.7 fluid ounces. So this was the only flavor they had at the one dollar tree I went to. Like again, like I said, I've seen people haul it before. They do have other flavors, if I'm not mistaken, maybe like a vanilla um, and maybe caramel. I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on that. I got some of the Golden Farms molasses. This is eight fluid ounces. I thought this was a pretty good deal to find that there. I also picked up some of the Quaker's Instant Oatmeal. They only have these by the cup, so it's not necessarily the best deal, but I wanted to give this a try. It says 50% less sugar than our leading flavor of Instant Oatmeal. No artificial, no, no artificial sweeteners. This is cinnamon pecan flavor, and it is, let's see, 1.41 ounces. So I'll give that a try for breakfast. I actually picked up two of these because I do like eating oatmeal. I did come across finally the Fruity Cheerios, which to me, I'm sure it's probably just gonna taste like, um, what is it, Fruit Loops. So you get four packs in this uh, one pack. So that's a pretty good deal. If you've tried these already, let me know how you like them. So new this week, I did come across the Kellogg's Smart Start Original Antioxidant Cereal. And it says that it is lightly sweet in toasted multigrain flakes and crunchy oat clusters. And these are 2.7 ounces a piece. So you do get two of those for a dollar. So I thought that was a great deal. I have a little cup of cereal to take with you if you're on the run for work in the morning or you know, to, for your kids if you wanna pack that for lunch. And I believe this may be the last food item that I have. This is the Wise brand Bravo Stadium Nacho Flavored Tortilla Chips. This is four ounces and it's good until May uh, 13th of 2019. And I saw only in my dreams haul this. I'll link her channel down below. And I was happy to come across it in my store. They had quite a few boxes of them. And I love tortilla chips, so I'm all about it. I did find some of the Ricola Herbal Immunity um, Drops. You get 24 honey drops in here. They also had a citrus flavor as well. And it says support supports immune system, help fight fatigue. Helps fight fatigue. <laughs> And it has ginseng plus vitamin C, B6, and B12. So that's pretty awesome. And you get 24 of those uh, drops in there. And that's a pretty good deal for a dollar. Ricola normally is uh, probably about two bucks for a bag, two or three bucks. So that's a good deal. I picked up some of this soft soap brand Earth Blends um, hand soap. And it is pomegranate and plum, eight fluid ounces. It's always great to have soap around. You can never have enough soap. So that's a pretty good deal. So last week I picked up some of the new Bolero items and this week I was able to come across the uh, Bolero wipes in the scent French Lavender and Citrus. You get 30 wipes in here. It says that this one just says nourishing and cleansing. You know, they all have their different benefits and this comes in like the purple packaging. Again, they've changed their packaging around, their packaging around a lot, a lot lately. So let me smell it. So I don't know what it smells like just yet. 
very citrusy. I feel like you smell the citrus more than you do the lavender, which is fine. Again, I like to keep these in my car or just laying around the house. If anybody needs a wipe, they're free to grab one. I came across these socks, and I typically don't buy socks at the Dollar Tree for myself because I have very big feet. But these were too cute to pass up, and they're purple. These are sloth socks. Look at that. That is so cute. So this is women's size five to nine, and I probably could try to get my foot in there, but it probably won't work out. So you do get two pairs. So only one of them is the sloth, and the other is just this orange, green, and purple line gray pair of socks. But um, we'll see how they go. They're made in China. They're supposed to be like the no-show socks, but that's just so cute. Got two more rolls of ribbon. Both of these are actually nine feet like and this. the shimmery white ribbon. So it's really hard for you all to see it. And this one is a solid red with a shimmer to it. So again, for some projects coming up hopefully soon. And I also picked up this uh, pink heart. It does have glitter on it. So I probably have to spray it down. There is a little bit of fallout, not a whole lot, just a little bit on your finger. So that's what that looks like. So y'all, my stores around me never have mesh and they had some in. They only had white and purple. So I grabbed quite a bit of it because I always wanna do different projects, but I can never find the actual decorative mesh that people use you know I know I'm gonna try and use ribbon for a lot of my projects but it's probably best to use mesh from a lot of the videos I've been watching it seems a lot easier so I did pick up probably about four of the white decorative mesh and I did get four of the purple decorative mesh and it says that this is six inches by five yards so I think it'll um, it'll do what I need it to do for sure. So I picked up one of the Main Street wall creations. Now these are uh, stickers that you can stick on your wall, but I tend to use them for things in my planner. So go check out my planner channel. It's always linked down below. I'll be doing a project with this. And this particular wall sticker says Faith. It does not make things easy. It makes them possible, Luke 137. So here's what it looks like if you want to put it on your wall. And then... That's what it looks like. So all of the words are separate stickers and you can line it up like that if you want to. I did pick up some of these um, little rainbow tweezers. They also had hair clips and I think eyelash curlers to match up with this color scheme. I think these are the last Valentine's items I picked up again for a project. I'll probably end up putting this on a wreath. This is the 10 count of the, um, well not 10 count, but it has 10 little lights attached. These are the LED light strings. They are heart shaped and battery operated. So you will need two AA batteries if you decide to pick these up. So I did grab that. And I picked up a Valentine's Day card. It says on Valentine's Day, a wish for a day as sweet as you. I'm not going to use it as a card. Again, stay tuned to my planner channel to see what I do with it. I picked up this cuticle trimmer by Sassy and Chic. Of course, I got purple. Again, not going to use it for its intended purpose, but I want to use it as a crafting tool. And I also picked up the floral scissors by the Garden Collection. So the rest of this haul is more stuff to make my fairy garden. So if y'all are not into that, then feel free to skip ahead to the pictures at the end. But I did pick up this little mushroom house. It did get cracked at the bottom. I think that was maybe my doing uh, while driving. Some of my bags tipped over and I think it may have cracked it. But I can fill that in or cover it up. So I did pick up this little mushroom house. And I said I wasn't going to grab one of the little gnomes, but this one is so cute. It's got its little hand on its face. So I did pick up one of the little garden gnomes. Some of the decorative accent stones, and I got the brown stone. I grabbed some more of these cute little fairy dolls. So um, now I have them in the first one I picked up last week had a green outfit. And this one has a yellow and a pink outfit. So they're all... They will all be in the fairy garden together. And the little fairy dolls you can find in the toy section. You can also find this in the toy section. And this is a pet puppy set. I know y'all are like, what are you going to do with that? It is a four piece. But again, I'm going to incorporate this little doggy in the fairy garden somehow. It'll be um, the little fairy girl's little pet dog. So we'll see how I make that come together. And I picked up some more of the fairy garden fi figurines. The little uh, three piece figurines. And this one just has little wooden pieces on it, um, a little shovel, looks like a little wooden scooter or a bike. This one has all the little uh, leaf chairs on it. 
And these are like the little welcome stands. Maybe you can put them like at the beginning of your fairy garden like to make like a little trail or something. So the last thing for this haul, I picked up two of the Floral Garden brand decorative picks. And these are butterfly picks. So I thought that would be cute in the garden as well. Well, y'all, that is everything for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you all have enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. Y'all know that I would really appreciate it. I do, of course, appreciate all the love and support and my new subscribers that I gained from my last Dollar Tree haul. Y'all are simply amazing. As of right now, that is the most popular video on my channel. And I appreciate you all so much. If you are still looking for the white lamps or the black desk lamps, then go over to my community tab page. I did post the SKU numbers on there. I'm not quite sure how that'll help you or if you can order them online, but I did go ahead and post the pictures over on my community tab. So if you are on your mobile device, all you have to do is click on Waitlist Wendy, my actual page. You'll get my front page where you see my videos. Scroll over to where it says community and click on that and you'll see it in my community post. So again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I would absolutely love to have you. And I hope that y'all are having a great day. It's a gloomy Saturday morning here, but I plan on making the best of it. So I will talk to y'all again in my next video. Bye.